to another Monday chill. I trust you're doing well and you're growing in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Before we move forward, remember to like us, leave a comment, and more importantly, share us. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Now we continue in the month of November on the theme, Biblical Counsels for Depression. Last week we established that depression is the most common mental health disorder worldwide. More than 260 million people suffer from depression constantly. You know, depression does one thing among many others, the thoughts. People who are suffering from depression have repetitive and intrusive thoughts, meaning sad, annoying, lonely, depressive thoughts, thoughts of suicide, and these thoughts normally repeat day in and day out, what is called rumination. Depression impacts severely the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you behave. But let us talk about the thoughts. Depression, the first thing depression does is to impact your thoughts negatively. But the Bible has an answer to this. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8. I love it. Hear what the Bible says. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lone, lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, I want to online this word now. Think on these things. Now, one of the ways in treating depression is to replace intrusive thoughts with more positive ones. Paul the Apostle is telling us to think on these thoughts. Whatsoever things are lovely and pure, of good report. If there be any praise, think on it. If there be any virtue, think on it. Now, when we are constantly thinking on these worthy and happy and joyful thoughts, it minimizes the impact of depression on our lives. Remember, your thoughts impact your feelings. So if they are positive thoughts, then we will have positive feelings. And a byproduct would be a positive behavior. I want to tell you, think positive. Martin Seligman, uh, one of the, 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 the founders of the counseling modality, positive psychology, he said people generally think negative. And because they think negative, their thought life really impacts them severely. But if we adopt this biblical counsel to think positive, I guarantee you the symptoms of depression will be minimized. Let me close with this disclaimer. If you have depression, you need to see a trained therapist. However, the Bible has counsels that you can utilize to minimize your depression. Thank you for listening and join us next week. Before we leave, let me pray for someone suffering from depression. Father, you know that person who is suffering from depression. They are listening to this broadcast, even perhaps at this very moment. I pray you would teach them how to think positively, think on the pure and lovely thoughts, help them to recover from this mental illness, is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye and see you next week.